This is the boathouse at Greenway, Agatha Christie's Devonshire home, where she based the book Dead Man's Folly, and where Marlene Tucker suffered a gruesome strangling. Neymar and I, however, had happier times in the boathouse. We used to come down here in the afternoons and watch the paddle steamers go up and down the River Dart. Agatha and Max bought Greenway in 1938 and they came down for holidays here for the rest of their lives. This is the library, one of their favourite rooms and one of mine. Greenway was the place we all came to relax, particularly Neymar who came here not to be famous. She came here to read and not to write. People always ask me what she read, and the truth of the matter is that she read everything. Brown paper parcels full of books used to arrive from Harrods, and she read them all. And when she'd finished reading those, she read newspapers. And when she'd finished reading newspapers, she read magazines. This was her place to relax with her family, her dogs, and her beloved Devon. In the evenings after dinner, we used to come out to the drawing room and there Nima used to read us a couple of chapters of her latest, unpublished of course, book. For some reason I remember a pocket full of rye best. I was about 10 or 11 years old at the time and it was probably the first occasion when I was allowed to stay up and listen to it. They were very informal evenings but probably those who were there will never forget them. Now Greenway is owned by the National Trust. And one of the happiest aspects of this, as far as I'm concerned, is that now many thousands of people can have the same happy experiences at Greenway that I had when I was young.